Hey guys, it's Logan. We're up to season two, episode twenty of The Mentalist. Here we go. My friends, I am so proud and happy hey, to welcome you to get the shot. celebration of my son Xander, Poison, Sue, CEO of Harrington Media. Poison. Here, here. Or a shot. No, we've had poison Where before. Was the little test, anyway. Oh. Late for work already. Not a good sign. Never mind. He's already dead. Yeah. Uh, I am sure my husband has a very good excuse for it. Your husband. Ah, uh, there you are, Xander. According to the victim's father, there was a confidential business file on this desk that's gone missing. Uh. Nothing else taken. What was the file about? Plans for the Daily Observer? The newspaper? Debt restructuring, cost cutting, layoffs. Layoffs? Layoffs? <laughs> Did any of you hear about the layoffs that were coming up soon? <laughs> layoffs? What layoffs? <laughs> well, actually, there's layoffs? a the list. Yeah. Excuse me, what's this list you keep mentioning? Oh, come on, Heather. The list that was in the file you took off Xander Harrington's desk? Everyone here. We mentioned layoffs and everyone here reacts except you, because you have read the list. Oh, that's ridiculous. I didn't go anywhere He's near He's so Xander's good. Desk. Bravo. Very well played, considering the stress you must be feeling right now. You know, I was hoping to dazzle you all with my uncanny detective skills, but you forced me, you forced me to just reveal the humdrum facts and point out that you have blood on your shoes, Heather. That's why you always look at the shoes! Is that how you shoe, man? Stop the presses. That's the phrase, right? Stop the presses. Yeah. Gotcha. Always wanted to say that. Caught red shoed. <laughs> Xander Harrington caught you snooping in his office and you killed him. Or maybe you didn't mean to do it. You were surprised. Oh, now she's quaking. I didn't see him. I went to the desk, took the file, and I ran. I'd known he was. You could have helped him. God, never. Someone told you. Who? Oh. A confidential source. No more jail or the source. Edward Harrington, Sandra's brother. Yeah. It's a very good job. Not anymore, it's not. Yep, not anymore. And you don't want to disappoint a man who owns 200 TV stations and a national newspaper. No, man. Nope. Looks like Heather's clear. Timeline puts her at the bar at the time of the attack. That's according to several male guests who remember her well. Figures. Well, at least 196 party guests and 42 staff as potential suspects. Start with the problem. Hey, Grigsby. Problem? No, not at all. Man, no. you're giving my team assignments? I know. I'm sorry. Should have been your call. I just want to make sure those two can hack it. I mean, they've been able to do everything so far, so why would they just magically out of nowhere? We can't do this! I'm Tara, Alex's wife. This is Ella, and... Ella? ...who had the cameras disconnected. That's my fault. It's nobody's fault, dear. Ella's such a what great you... name. Forensics has promised to release the crime scene as soon as possible. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience. This woman looks so familiar. Uh, I'm too upset. Uh, may, may I? Thank <laughs> you. Xander proved he could lead. I've he looks familiar proud, too. Shit. Proud of uh, Eddie too, my other son. Well, of course. Oh, is that? But Xander had the strength to lead. Is she Gus. on Breaking Bad? That's important to you, isn't it, Gus? Of course. Gus, heart. I think I got. What yeah. else is there? Spleen, liver, kidneys. I understand it's a compulsion you're not fully in control of, but I wish you would try. It would make our work a lot easier if you did. Try. Did you see that? What? Right outside that window. There's a pink unicorn. Amazing. 
And now you're hallucinating. Seriously, look, it's a unicorn. I didn't see. I don't see a unicorn. It's right there. Oh. Yes. What a nice unicorn. <laughs> How did you know about the tea party? I'm Ashley Harrington. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Now, who's your mom and dad? Xander Harrington and Sadie Cardona Harrington. And now my address and phone number two. Very good. Patrick and I are actually looking for your mommy. Do you know where she is? Outside. She misses daddy. He went away on a trip. Ah. Yes, he did. That's... yikes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Harrington, you prodded Heather Evans into going into your brother's office, didn't you? My toilet file was on the desk. What she did with that information is her problem. Is this is seriously of happening? Operations. And you tell an employee about a confidential layoff list? Did you call your brother in? Would you give us a second? <laughs> straight, no, straight I forward. forward. Did you Sanders kill your brother? Well, maybe I just don't explain my emotions to cops. Told her. I mean, tell a I was just about to say that. Oh, she pretty much knows already. She How do you just be like, it. yeah? Nor do I. I just, I keep thinking Xander would know exactly what to say to her. Visualize the sort of religious group. You know, it's more like a cult. It's brainwashing with a cybernetic wow. tax fraud. We got a, a pretty nasty letter from their leader, Brett Stiles, threatening unspecified trouble if we ran it. Brett Stiles. Oh, you, you had me a cult. <laughs> Brett Stiles. Like giant eyeballs? No. What a name. That's a kind of good name. Brett Stiles. I'm Stephen Winch. Most folks call me Brother Steve. Are you the CBI folks who called? Yeah. Brother Patrick. And, uh, <laughs> This way. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid Mr. Stiles isn't on the premises today. Hey! Hi! I want to go. Have a seat. Cool. Excellent. Oh, God. Just kidding. What do I do? Place your fingers on the orb and uh, turn oh, God. you first. Do you find sadness in the world around you? Yes. yes. Do you find yourself dwelling on the misfortunes of your past? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you often think people are secretly out to get you? Yeah. Yes. Patrick, you have serious issues with paranoia and depression and negative thinking in general. <laughs> I would recommend our immersive visualization program for you as a matter of urgency. Ah, not so fast. You thought you had me, didn't you? We heard there was trouble in her marriage. Xander divorced her, goes to up. But if you guys, she gets it all. Where'd you hear that, Steve? Did you have someone on the inside? Do you have a gift shop? Because I'd love an eyeball mug or something. <laughs> Good job, Steven. Thank you, Mr. Stiles. No. Thank you. So the guy claims Stiles is only trending. Bro, that's Molag Ball. I swear. I swear that's Molag no, Ball from Skyrim. I swear it is. Or Last spring he went off on visual us. Elder Scrolls. Game Definitely Elder Scrolls. I just don't know if it's Skyrim. One more thing. That's, That's more like ball. I swear. Fair. No. I swear. Xander I know that I voice. Have been partners in everything since the first week of business school. I loved him and I respected him. I had no reason to stray. Neither did he. Sometimes <laughs> you don't need a reason. Oh. I now this guy. Good. I know this guy. I just don't Love know where I know him from. Oh, no, she just um. Thinks I was screwing around on your son. Excuse me, I have better things to do. Oh you think she was having a fan? Ambitious as all hell. God, though. it's killing me. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I know this guy Don't really well. That's the thing. Running the TV stations. Oh. Excuse my rudeness. Wait, put glasses on him. Agent, listen. Yes. 
Bombing. What? There's not enough time. Do what you can. I need your help finding a bomb. Uh, what? <laughs> There's still time. Oh, you're good at this kind of thing. We find the bomb attack. Maybe but he's not it. there. What are you nuts? What do you want to do that for? It's a bomb. Just get out of there. The guy's got comprehensive home insurance, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, Jane, we've got two minutes. Bro doesn't even have to be there, and he's got it. No, the bomb. I found it. One minute left. Yeah, good. Time to leave. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Engage in this game of which wire to pull. I'm not even. Just leave right now. Run, okay? You're right. I'm out of here. Thank you. Good. Where's mommy? Hang on. Listen, pick up the girl. Hurry, just pick her up and take her outside. You can do that. Run away now. Lisbon. Oh, God. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Lisbon. Red wire. Blue wire. Screw it. Lisbon. All the wires. Very bad girl. You're a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saving my granddaughter. We are so grateful. Shawshank Redemption. So He's the no, one. You were brave and resourceful. And I'll make sure you supervise you say as much in your file. Uh, I'll be issuing an announcement. And I wanted to let you and Sadie know first. Announcements? Oh, I love announcements. I love announcements. Oh, she should be on for a round of cocktails. And the board has demanded a new CEO be announced immediately. Sadie, my bad. <laughs> Sadie. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No. No, that's okay, that's... It's your right to name whoever you want. I, I don't know what to say. That's uh, wild. No, it's okay. It's, um, I get it. We got something. I came from the phone of Elizabeth Stanfield. Sadie Harrington's assistant. Let's go get that warrant. What? Nice work. Thanks. Van Pelt would like some word to you. Please don't talk to me about Van Pelt. No, I won't. Is she? No. <laughs> Just she's <laughs> smiling at me. Be you weirdo. The eye is not just the window to the soul. It is the key to unlocking your greatness. It is the key because when you see it, you will be it. I've never been so sure in my life that is Molecule. <laughs> that guy is from Skyrim. Er, the eye is not just the he's window to the soul. <laughs> it is the key to unlocking your greatness. Excuse me, your I'm sorry. Mr. Jane, I presume. Yeah. Mr. Jane, well, no, I presume. Oh, you're expecting us. Oh, yeah. And I presume this is your long-suffering colleague, Agent Lisbon. Well, I'm, I'm, I may have taught her. Stanfeld? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, oh, well, was she a brunette? Damn this guy. Oh, well, yeah, but, you know, I've signed millions of these in my time. I always like to personalize them. There's a little trick I learned from an old friend of mine, Ronnie Ray. My eyes aren't uh, windows or doors or even keys for that matter. I use them to look at things, and what I'm looking at right now is a big fat liar. <laughs> really? Really? Yes, yeah, betrayed by a faint facial tremor. Now I see why Red John really enjoys sparring with you. A worthy adversary, huh? Yeah. Losing a wife or a child like that. Oh boy. Yeah, makes a man reckless. Chill, bro. Fills him with anger and shame. Hmm? We need to find that woman, and this guy is definitely suspicious. <laughs> we both know what you are. I mean, let's be honest here. You're a con man. I mean, you're very charming, you're very good at it, but you're just a con man. <laughs> And you can no more help me than you can fly to the moon. Mm -hmm. Now who's struck a nerve? 
Now give a stand, Phil. Or I will make it my sole purpose to hound you for the rest of your miserable, phony life. <laughs> Whoa. Am I hearing a threat here? Elizabeth is at Edward Harrington's penthouse. She went to Edward to do what? I don't know. She didn't tell me. I gave her no instructions. She went to her own free will. Have a nice day. Get to Ed Harrington's best immediately. That's scary. Don't leave town. Is she dead? I feel like there's just so much more. from here. You and Elizabeth were in this together. We're all in this. Alexander, you got your father. Happily ever after with her break silence. If I had any idea, I... That she was just... It's gotta be the other... The other guy's gotta be involved. I just... seems intent on taking out everyone between you and the top job at Harrington Media. So let me get this straight. She was sleeping with you because you were Harrington. Not an important enough Harrington to kill, is that it? So you were a stooge. Yeah, I'm stooge. An accomplice to what? The bombing attempt. I think she's on record. Is she years. framed? Could she Two be decades. framed? Seven thousand days living in a box. Mm. I don't know how people do it. To that help yourself that out would here. suck. We know someone gave you that bomb. We know you didn't kill Xander. Of course, they didn't kill him. But you know who did. See, shit like that is like, don't commit a crime. <laughs> that alone, like, I have no interest. I'm looking down at you from a great height. You're like ants. It's sad how far I am beyond you people. <laughs> spiritually and mentally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, physically, I think we, uh, we might have the upper hand. Oh, Lizzie, you are bad nuts crazy. <laughs> bad nuts, girl. But that's okay, you She know. turned so quickly. You can't recover your wits. You're gonna have to work very hard. She seemed normal, and then she it was just like... A very good idea. Thank you. But you have some evidence linking him to a crime, I'd like it. Why is she nervous? Let the poor wretch go then help. He's guilty of nothing except extremely poor decision making. Let's go home and discuss this. Mr. <laughs> oh, hell. Not again. What's wrong? Miserable cowards. More threats! What does it say? <laughs> Next time, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> Sent from the same number as the earlier threat. I thought you would trace that call to Stanfield. But they likely use the same number for many different clone cells. It proves it's the same people in here. Meaning visualize. This, 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 this I'm fucking going guy. to need additional protection for my family. Oh at my least God. until we can get to the house in London. Mr. Harrington, what is family <laughs> safety at stake? Maybe it's best to postpone the expose. If I gave in, where does it stop? My family would be under constant threat from people who don't like what I print or air. This is just great. We need protection, <laughs> Agent Hightower. Mr. Harrington, the police assigned to you are very well-trained personnel. You mm -hmm. can't add more... I want your best people. Ms. Lisbon and her team. I'll insist on it. Mr. Harrington, that's very flattering, but you... And if you could release my son now, I'd appreciate it. I think Jane is like this puppet master sometimes. He's like always... He's always directing where things go and like... We're gonna do it this I way. Called, the nose face. Good night, everyone. Well, Alex, I told Ash she could stay after You know what? Maybe she's not that girl from Breaking Bad. She looks like her, though. The more I look at her, though, I'm like... I think she just looks like her. I don't think she is her. Who's next? Any takers? Let's see if I'm right. Or at least in the right direction. We should know soon, right? Yeah. What? What are you... Shh. Wait a minute, I hear it too. Hear what? I haven't actually covered you. Could it be the wife? His wife? Wait, no. Clear. Why would it be the wife? Wow, I could have I heard someone in here. That's why she's been so quiet and withdrawn. She witnessed the murder. Whoa. The power's been cut. Uh, we have a, a backup generator. Encounter some breaking 
What the hell? Charlie King one check the grounds. Seal the door now. This has gotta be the play, right? That's crazy. Before the guests got that was that was a twist. Okay, I did not I did not get that one. Hiding under his desk. Maybe he saw the game. Grandpa was playing with Daddy. Oh. Did you? Daddy said, "Isn't he?" It was a game. When your daddy fell, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. You're under arrest. Wow. You're a bastard. Uh, well, thanks for the uh, feedback. Always appreciate it. You got nothing. My lawyers will grind this to dust. Don't say a single thing, either of you. It's strange, though, that you can't so much as look at your own daughter. Don't barely touch your loving wife. How'd you find out the baby wasn't yours? I know that you believe Tara was having an affair with Xander, and that your son was Ellen's biological father. And you were partly right. And she was having an affair with your son, but it wasn't with Xander. Was it Ed? Huh? Oh? Yeah, I figured it out when I saw you two at the CBI. She was very angry with you. Very angry. Pure jealousy. I'm... Ellis father. Congratulations, she's your page. No. Can't be. I am so sorry. No! It was Xander! It was Xander. Okay, we'll take that as a confession. Thank you. Come on, let's go. You really don't think I can do anything, do you? It can't be. Well, it is. Sorry. We killed the wrong son. So I ordered a paternity test. The results came back the day of the party. Why didn't he just deny it? He just naturally assumed you knew it was Ed. And I think of what poor Ashley saw. She didn't see anything I made up. She was there. Yes, I know. Man, I really thought that other guy was guilty of something. My good friend, Senator Hale. Mr. Stiles here says that you antagonized him and conducted yourself in a way that reflected poorly on the Bureau. Do you have anything to say? Oh, this is not my first rodeo. Thanks. Nice talking with you. You're kidding, right? That's it? No. Do you give my best to Senator Elman? Is he still seeing that stripper in Bakersfield? Lovely girl. <laughs> By the way, we will find a way to charge you with that attempted bombing. Oh! So long, Brad. Don't draw the wrong lesson here, Patrick. I've got Styles checkmated, but if a player with real juice came in here, I'd want to see you dance for him. Isn't that what we just did? You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I do love to dance.
I just thought he had more involvement. Which, I mean, I guess that would have been way too easy. I gotta think more twisty. More twist. More, oh, you didn't think of that. Instead of, it's right there kind of thing. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. We're so close to the end of season two, which is, um, 23 episodes. See y'all next time.